Have you ever wondered why your prints never come out looking the way they do on your computer screen? Well, stay tuned and I'm going to explain to you exactly why that is. CMYK and RGB are two different color models that are used for different contexts. In the world of printing, we have four basic colors. CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, key. Key is black. So these are the four basic colors that you need to even get started with printing. CMYK is what we use to print posters, banners, brochures, t-shirts. It's the basics of printing. CMYK is a subtractive color model. And what that means is basically you take in other colors to make a new color. So for instance, if you take a red crayon and a blue crayon and you mix them together on paper, you're gonna get purple. So that's how CMYK works when printing. You take the basic four colors, they mix together and they create other colors. Now, on the other hand, RGB, which stands for red, blue, and green, are mainly used for electronic displays such as computer screens, cell phones, um, um, digital cameras, things of that nature. Now, the way that RGB works, it's um, basically an additive, which is the opposite of what KCMY is. So with RGB, Colors are created by adding different amount of red, blue, and green light to create other colors. So for example, if you take two flashlights, a red one and a green one, and you shine them together, you get a yellow light. That's basically what RGB is as an additive. It's just a light show. It's how your TV screens and your monitors work. It takes colors of light, shine them together, create other colors, and that's how you get the brightness, the vibrant colors displayed on your computer screen. So basically, to keep it short, KCMY is for printing. RGB is for electronic displays, such as TVs and computer screen monitors. You cannot print RGB. We print in KCMY. So this is the reason why it is important that when working on designs, you create your designs and it's the proper print model or color model. So if you know you're gonna be using your design to print t-shirts, print posters, print brochures, when you create your design, make sure you're creating it, creating it and using colors that are in KCMY and not RGB. So for those of you who do not create their own images, but like to purchase them from Etsy or any other graphic designer, there's a high possibility that that designer created that image in RGB. So when you go to print that image, your colors is not going to print out the same color that you see on your computer screen. Because remember, RGB is for electronic displays such as computer screens. And we print in KCMY. They are two different color spectrum but do not worry because if you purchase that image and it's an rgb image you can always take that image and upload it in photoshop adobe or whatever program that allows you to convert that image to kcmy that way you get a more accurate color when you print your image but remember it's still not going to be 100 percent the exact color that you see on your screen also, another thing to consider is that some RGB colors can't not 100% be um, duplicated to a KCMY color. So like some colors that appears to be really vibrant and bright or neon colors, them type of colors cannot be converted into KCMY. Also for black, RGB black is a little different from KCMY black. So if your blacks are coming out dull or grayish looking then you definitely need to convert it to a KCMY or you need to make some adjustments in your settings to make your blacks appear more darker once you convert it to KCMY from an RGB image.
So I hope this was very informative and helps you understand more why your colors are not coming out as vibrant as it appears on your computer screen and help you to be able to make some adjustments so that you can get the closest or the most accurate colors as possible. Survival all the time. It's a vibe all the time It's no surprise, can't look me in my eyes They wanna see me fall cause they know I'm on the rise